What's up Ravens and welcome to this week's edition of ONW Now. Today we're revealing a new program that may lead to Wi-Fi access in the future and bringing you updates on Olathe West High School. For Elena Gray, I'm Chloe Cowart and this is ONW Now. I can't do this all on my own. No, I know I'm no Superman. I'm no Superman. Plans for the new high school in the Olathe School District are well underway. Let's take it to Ashley and Isabel for the inside story on Olathe West. By the year of 2017, Olathe will be adding another high school to the district, Olathe West. Planning for Olathe West has already begun with the help of several teachers throughout the district. Ms. Morris, who's on the Vision Concept team, tells us how Olathe West will be different than current Olathe schools. The idea is that most of the learning will be collaborative. You're doing kind of group projects in these really big spaces. I believe the hope is that no one teacher owns a classroom, that the spaces can be utilized by anyone at any time depending on the, the best practice for how kids are learning, how they're working on projects. I have been told that the building will be three stories. That's different than all of our other high schools, only two stories in some places. The changes in the way of teaching and learning will not just be applied in the new school, but also in all of the schools as well. The spaces are going to be called as opposed to pods or wings. They're calling them neighborhoods and communities, and they'll be grouped accordingly. Other changes might include glass walls and more open spaces for learning. Olathe West mascot and colors have yet to be determined. The exact location of the school has yet to be decided. However, they have confirmed it will be in, by the middle school mission trail. Most decisions have yet to be made because the projected opening day is so far away. However, we can count on Olathe West for new learning techniques and educational advancements. For ONW Now, this has been Ashley Couch. Now back to the desk. Thanks, guys. Now let's take it to Drake and Kyle for game day. What you want, huh? This is my stage. This is gonna sting. What you want, son? Thanks guys, the girls bowling season has officially begun. Alex Kegel has a story on the, their aspirations for the season. The ONW Lady Ravens bowling team began practicing earlier this month. I sat down with junior standout Mackenzie Saulnier and discussed her goals for the season. To win state again and defend my title and to bowl 300 and another 800 this year. Unlike some of the team, Saulnier has been around the game for quite some time. My parents have been bowling forever, and they got me into it, and so I've been bowling for about 13 years. Senior Lexi Miller is a newcomer in the bowling world. Actually, this is my first time bowling this year, and my grandparents were bowlers, so I thought I would give it a try. The Ravens practice at Mission Bowl in Olathe and have their next meet on February 4th. Coaches Mr. Holson and Mrs. Potter both look forward to a very successful season. When asked about what their favorite part of bowling at Northwest was, Mackenzie Saulnier and Lexi Miller responded. The competition and the whole team aspect, being there for each other. Probably the environment and the people that I bowl with. For ONW Now, I'm Alex Kegel. Now back to the desk. Thanks, Alex. Recently, the Ravens men's basketball team took on Lawrence Free State. Sydney Mortensen has the highlights. Olathe Northwest windled down the first annual Raven Week with a boys basketball game. The Raven Nation filled the bleachers to watch the Ravens take on the Lawrence Free State Firebirds. I mean, it definitely helps, like, just to know that you go out there and, like, all these people are, like, here to support you. The team agreed the fans contributed to the energy on the court. In return, the Ravens gave their best effort versus the Firebirds. The, the Ravens were able to crawl back into the game in the fourth quarter. Me and one other, someone else like hit like three threes in a couple couple possessions, and that was just like nine quick points right there. And plus, we got some stops on defense, so we were able to like pull ahead by two or three points, I think. Unfortunately, the Ravens lost a hard-fought overtime battle. Despite the loss, the Ravens felt improvement was made. Yeah, definitely. Like our chemistry was just there throughout the entire game, which sometimes you know it's been off like a possession here or there. Catch the Ravens in action this Friday at Mill Valley. For ONW Now, I'm Cindy Mortensen. Thanks, Cindy. That concludes this episode of Game Day Northwest. I'm Drake Watkins for Kyle Smith. Back to the desk. Thanks, guys. Every month, we recognize those Ravens who are working to make ONW a friendlier place.
Let's take it to Elena Gray for this week's Prop Box winners. Dr. Poss and the Friends of Rachel's Club are excited to recognize this month's Ravens Prop Box nominees. Abby Oshner, Bonnie Dowd, Brian Geller, Cynthia Luna, Jason McFarland, and Yasmin Korea. And the top prop goes to Lily Fernhaber. Lily really enjoys her peer mentoring class. She always has nice things to say and supports the students in that class through her words and actions. Congratulations, Ravens. For OWNW Now, now back to the desk. You may start seeing students using laptops to take notes or an iPad to do research in your classes. The Bring Your Own Device program has begun for debate and forensic students at ONW, and this could mean that soon we will have access to school Wi-Fi. Pedro and Candace have the story. This semester, debate and forensic students have been given the opportunity to participate in the BYOD program, Bring Your Own Devices pilot program, in which students are able to access school Wi-Fi while using their own electronics. Debate and Forensics coach Josh Anderson started the program by offering a proposal to the District Technology Office. Mr. Anderson explains the program and what it offers. The um, Technology Division at the District Office selected the four Debate and Forensics programs at the four Olathe High Schools to provide uh, as a pilot process BYOD access, Bring Your Own Device Access. That means students enrolled in those programs are able to bring their own devices, iPads, tablets, laptops, smartphones, and connect to the school's internet 24-7 um, in any part of the Abby Rouse, a forensic student, speaks about the benefits of the program. I can um, take notes verbatim almost like so that I can also get what's also on the PowerPoint but also what she's saying. As of currently, only debate and forensic students are able to access the Wi-Fi. On if the school Wi-Fi will go building wide soon, Mr. Anderson responds. All of us want the BYOD to go building wide as soon as possible, but we can't really make that happen until we know everything's in place. Both Rouse and Anderson see the BYOD program as a tool, but want consequences to be set for those who abuse the program. There obviously need to be consequences for people who are playing games on their laptops instead of like taking the notes or doing the online activity. For ONW Now, I'm Candace Hayes. Now back to the desk. That's all we have for you on this episode. For Chloe Cower, I'm Elena Gray, and this has been ONW Now.